what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest AIM ROM. I have never tried this ROM on this device so let's begin. This is the latest build as of right now. As you can see on top we have the AIM logo kind of looks cool and the Android version is 10 of course. The AIM version is like 4.1 official. The security patch is not quite of May 2020 but it's of April 5th 2020 so kind of one month old. The next update should be having May 2020 security patch nothing to worry about. The stock kernel is part of kernel and this is the 5th May 2020 build of this ROM. Now talking about flashing this ROM well the method is very simplistic. There are two versions of this ROM one with gapps one without. I flash the one with gapps and this is based on MIUI firmware. So the method is pretty much simple with any other ROM like you just wipe cache tal with system data then flash this ROM with the fcrypt disabler if your storage is decrypted. That's how simple it is you just reboot and you are back into the system with a new ROM. And I have used Orange Fox Recovery the latest Orange Fox Recovery of course. Now one thing that I have been not liking from the start of using this ROM is that the stock camera. The stock camera over here is old Google camera. I do not know if somebody likes this camera a lot or something but yeah this is how it is and as you can see the front camera and stuff everything does work. But still I don't know why they included this camera, I cannot even like switch to the other lenses over here. I installed the Google Camera 7, like I installed this APK and this has been working fine since then. If you don't know how to install this Google Camera card for you here. And I did not install ANX camera yet but I think you can like flash ANX camera zip on this ROM if you'd like to. Now without like talking about the stock stuff I would say. The ROM's performance seems to be really really good and one cool thing about this ROM is there is this audio FX and if you go into the settings and then go into the sound settings and scroll down you will also find the Mi Audio Dirac. The Hi-Fi Audio Dirac does work and this kind of like presets of this Mi Earbuds, Youth Edition and stuff all these headset with the Mi Audio Dirac are working fine. Sound output via the headphone jack and stuff is totally fine. Even sound output via Bluetooth as well is really good over here. I don't have a problem with it but yeah you get audio FX and me audio direct both here. Now the stock launcher is a little weird again. As you can see this is the trebuchet launcher if you are noticing. And with this there is also a pixel launcher but that is the old kind of pixel launcher I guess. Which shows a white kind of bar over here. That pixel launcher is there too by default with the GF version at least. And I am using this trebuchet launcher not that old pixel launcher. And here to the left we have the Google Now cards. Swiping down gets you to the notification panel not a problem. And here if you swipe up you get the app drawer. But on this app drawer I cannot really hide this suggestion of apps section. As you can see some apps or recently opened apps stays there. And if I go over here in the home screen settings. We get some options like show Google app and stuff then show icon labels on desktop like these are all the things and there is no option to disable the suggestion of the apps. So that's how it is it's just there and I don't really like it. There is no double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen but if you double tap on the like status bar it is totally working fine and here is the fingerprint scanner speed and if you noticed I am using the screen of FOD over here which does not show anything like clock and stuff over here. So it just shows the fluid scanner icon and if you tap over here and as you can see this is how fast it unlocks. Let me show you again and let's do with the right thumb again from this screen of FOD and as you can see it works really really fast. The fluid scanner is pretty reliable over here I do not have any issues. And in terms of locking and stuff of course there is no face unlock as of right now. It has been removed from all the ROMs. So yeah, we are not really getting that. In the battery settings, this is how the battery settings panel looks like. It does not show the battery temperature over here, but that's fine. You can like figure it out with any other app and you can check the full usage from here. The battery life, I would say not bad, pretty much same with other ROMs. You can get seven plus hours of screen on time without any issues. In the display settings, we have the live display and stuff. Color calibration options are there. Styles and wallpapers options are there. Then full screen apps if you need that for some like particular apps. Well, it just keeps loading for some times and there is this DC dimming or anti flicker mode. Yes, it has been working totally fine. Double tap to wake is there too. That works fine too. Inside system, if you go to the updater section, you can check for updates from here. But it just says check failed or something as you can see and it says last checked like January 1st, 1970. I would say don't rely on it. This may not work like the stock system updater. 
in the gesture section we have the system navigation gestures and with this we have these kind of customizations and here we have the enable haptic tick effect and the height navigation pill bar but i don't see the option to like increase the size of this navigation bar and here we also have the front camera sound effects and stuff and here inside front camera sound effects we have these mini effects of course but i disabled them i don't really like them the front camera led does work fine here not a problem even while charging it does work now in the sound settings again we have the charging sound and vibration disabling option and stuff let me go back to the customizations and all the customizations you will get inside this hashtag let's amify settings and if you tap over here and as you can see there are a lot of customizations inside status bar we have the like status bar icons and here you will get the headset bluetooth etc icons inside clock we have the like clock position choosing option you can set it to center and stuff if you'd like and then there is the clock and date customization auto hide option is there am pm style etc and now we have the battery style and from here you can choose it to be icon portrait circle text dotted circle solid or hidden then we have the battery percentage you can change the position to next to icon or inside the icon or you can hide it and there is also this custom charging symbol for textile i don't know what it does actually but yeah there is this flash alt flash plus star rupee dollar etc we have these many icons for the custom battery charging icons 4g icon and stuff is there and for the vaulty icon we get a little bit of weird kind of icons you can see it shows a value just notice what happens on the vaulty icon so yeah i would say this method is kind of weird but yeah at least it, it works you can choose any vaulty icon from here okay i'll use this one status bar indicators and stuff is there this network traffic indicator is there but there is a problem that it shows like i have the location to status bar but it does not show on the status bar i have to scroll down just like this and then you see this over here so you have to swipe down once to get see the like network traffic monitor kind of weird but yeah that works and brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar does work as you can see you can control the bright brightness by sliding a finger on the status bar of course and it does work fine for me in the quick settings panel we have the header image you can pick one image from your gallery too if you want and then there is row and column number customization for the quick settings panel of course this is how it looks like by default it shows the let's aim if i over here and then you can tap and edit and add more toggles if you need to and here i do not see the fps kind of info i don't see that option anymore which is present in the like evolution x roms and stuff there is the aod option then the dark theme heads up disabling option and stuff and also we have the oxygen noise kind of screen recording option in the quick toggle section it does work with the internal audio as you can see you can also use the microphone audio if you need that inside notifications we have the ambient pulse notification battery light notification light noisy notification and stuff is there inside lock screen we have the media cover art then we have music visualizer and stuff clock widget and date widget you can customize it however you want from these styles and stuff if you want to i did not do it and you can also disable power menu if you need that but i have it enabled of course by default and the charging info shows up whenever you are charging the phone so that looks pretty cool on the lock screen it shows how much like milliampere it's like getting the charge at so pretty cool as you can see and here you can change the charging animation to flash battery drop explosion and water this is on the lock screen the small animation and in terms of the icons of the figment scanner there is also these many icons as you can see plethora of options we get no problems at all and here we also have option like to use the wallpaper color for the fod icon or the figment icon and screen of fod is there of course you can also disable it if you want to and go with the always on kind of display figment scanner which shows the time and stuff but yeah with the screen of fod it will save your battery a little bit because it won't have to show the time and stuff so yeah then also there is the fod recognizing animation you can choose between these many animations i would say there are plethora of animation and this is very detailed like you can choose between these many miui options and then we have the one plus kind of options then we have the pure view animations and then we have the color os and then one plus ripple and stuff i have been using the one plus ripple looks cool then we have the fod pressed icon behavior and we get only usually cyan and white kind of color for the light which emits on the pigment scanner of course in the buttons we have the power menu section and of course advanced reboot is there 
you notice I can directly reboot to recovery if I tap on restart. Here we have the directly rebooting to recovery and fast boot options. Inside navigation bar we have the normal navigation bar settings. If you are using two or three button navigation you can invert the layout from here. And then if you go interface and inside themes, inside accent color we get these many options of course. A lot of options you can choose like however you want. You can choose between these many cyan kind of colors and stuff. As you like you can change the accent colors over here not a problem. For the dark theme I have been using it with the page black because the default one is just like grey kind of it does not actually use the amulet displays black kind of feature. So yeah I have been using it with the dark theme and peach black theme. Inside headline and body font we get plethora of options as you can see lot of fonts option you want to regrade these many fonts option I guess. Inside status bar we have rounded filled circular icon icon shapes and stuff is there and we have the full screen apps again then we have the animation and stuff. And from here you can change the CRT animation scale and simple fade for the screen off. You can also choose color fade if you need that. Inside gestures we have the double tap to slip on the status bar and lock screen both. And both are working super fine no need to worry. In the misc settings we have the gaming mode. And from here you can of course use the block notification features and stuff. Then smart charging is there in case you need it. And then show CPU info, charging sound and stuff you can disable it. And swipe to take screenshot option is there. And here let me take it and as you can see this is an oxygenous kind of screenshot. But let me show you the scrolling feature actually does not work in most cases as you can see. It says not supported on this page. Keep saying everywhere so yeah the scrolling screenshot does not support everywhere. But it does take a normal screenshot not a problem. Blink flashlight on call and stuff is there. And then we have the recent style changing option to omni switch if you need that. And inside about we have the developers website and the like donation kind of thing. To donate to the developers if you like the ROMs, I would definitely suggest that. Google Pay and stuff works right out of the box so you do not need to worry much about banking apps over here in this ROM. It works right out of the box without even flashing magisk or using magisk hype. And other things like RAM management and stuff should be pretty good. In terms of daily driving this ROM feels really smooth, not a problem at all and in terms of gaming it should be pretty similar to other ROMs too. And here is the Andrew and Geekbench score of this ROM. So what do I think about this AIM ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro? I think this is a pretty great option has a lot of customizations and seems like it is a good ROM. Now in my personal opinion I would say without the ANX or MIUI camera by default present on a ROM at this time or at this moment I would say it's really hard to recommend these kind of ROMs because I feel it's really handy when you have the MIUI camera or something by default then you can install Google camera separately with the APK but for the Enix camera and stuff you gotta flash the zip that's one more step there. I would say yeah that makes this a little bit of bummer for this ROM but otherwise the ROM works totally fine not a problem. Wi-Fi calling and stuff everything works and this is how the stock in-call UI looks like there is no call recording option as such but video calls and vault calls and VO Wi-Fi too does work over here. And the 18 watt fast charging does work fine over here too so that's not a problem. And one more thing that I like here is there is no live wallpaper by default here but the stock wallpapers which are present here are pretty cool. Like this let's amify default wallpaper then we have this one and let's just look at the wallpapers. Looks really really cool I, I would say as you can see. The stock wallpaper collection of this ROM is pretty legit in my opinion. These are looking pretty cool on this AMOLED display. I can definitely use these wallpapers almost on my daily basis. So thank you so much for watching this video guys on the Redmi K20 Pro. The AIM ROM seems to be pretty good. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.